Well, good evening everyone. I'm home, as you can see by the background. I arrived home yesterday afternoon, maybe quarter to five. Because when I got the home to Coffs, I actually had to ring a cab, wait for him, they were busy. But finally glad to be home. Best things about being at home. I'm back with my babies. I've got Garfield with me. You all remember Garfield? And my last little boy who I got before I went away, little brick, easy Adam kit. I've got them in the video. Um, next best thing is I've got my own bed. I'm back in my own bed. Oh, it is so good. Um, what else is good? Back my shower. No one can beat my shower. And also, another thing, my el my shoulders are good. Oh, I've only had one pain pill today, oh, two pain pills this morning, and they are so much better. The coldness in Tasmania was did play havoc with my shoulder and my left foot because I have calcification on the top of both of my feet. Um, there's nothing that can be done. How they formed was my foot is a uh, funny shape. Ha, 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 funny shape. And and the podiatrist said, podiatrist, yeah, podiatrist said that there's nothing I did except work. So I worked on cement floors. I worked in a laundry, so I was on cement floors. I worked in a prawn factory, although we still had a rubber mat, is still on cement floors. So that caused that. So everything's going good. I'm back. Finally, um, I thought I'd do an introduction video saying that I am back before I actually uploaded my holiday videos. I'm in the process of fixing them up now. In the process, what I mean by fixing them up, I have my introduction slide, then I have the video, then I have the end slide. But I've also added, after the introduction slide, I actually put a, a photo of what the video is about. Hopefully, I will have a bit of one for everyone. Um, then I add my music, then I save it, then I got another program where I I changed the file extension so that the file is smaller. It's the same quality, but just change it to another file extension, makes it smaller. So it's usually an MP4. And when I change it to an M, let me see, WMV file extension, it's a smaller, smaller of a file. So that's it. Well, everything's going good. Um, yesterday, this late last night, I really had my mind that I was going to move to Tasmania. I was even looking around at places. I was chatting to Denise via Facebook. And she said, the best kind of heat, heater to get is a, what do they call it? A heat pump or something? I thought, what is that? What it actually is, is what we call in New South Wales, reverse cycle air conditioning, where you have, in the winter you have heat, the heat and in summer you have the cool. But I can tell you now, I ain't moving to Tassie. Even though I'm moving close to Denise and, and play dates with our babies, the cold is what's getting me back. First, I've got to look after me. I've got to watch my pain. I, but having sore shoulders, oh, look at them. They're good. You know, I can lift them up and... Down there, just lifting up to pull the door down, it hurt. I had a bit sore, but yeah. I've still got the pain medication. I might take extra couple, take a couple a day whenever I feel like it. And my hands are so dry. Oh, had to give them a good rub of hand cream lotion. So what else is happening? Um, the wet weather is here. Um, it is raining. It was nice when I got yesterday. Um, when I was at Sydney, was Sydney? Yeah, I was called to the desk to let to say that because of the high winds in Coffs, they were they couldn't have the lift to get me up and down, out, get me down out of the plane. So they said, "Are you okay to walk?" I said, "Yes, I will go last, and I will just take my time getting down." 
And he said, good, thank you. No, no worries. I said, if I can take my time, I'm okay. Besides, I wasn't the only one there to get down. Out of there was a lady who was actually in a wheelchair getting down. Because when I seen her sitting, I thought, does she know that there's no lift to get out of the plane? So I thought, I went up and let her know. She said, yes, they know, but she, with, with help, they can get her down and that. So she got out of the plane. So that was good. Um, I got, oh, I had the whole row of seats myself. So I was there taking a photo. The girl said, would you want to move over? I said, okay. So I moved next to the window. I had never sat near the window and I was just looking out. I was so amazed because I was videoing it and it was being above the clouds. Oh my God. It is such amazing. Um, what I can tell you about if traveling with your babies. Um, I've never done this happen before. I actually, when I got to Launceston, you'll actually hear it in one of the videos my suitcase didn't turn up. So if you're traveling with your babies, um, maybe not, if possible, put them in your checked in luggage because if your suitcase case gets lost, you don't have your babies. You won't know where your babies are. And that is why I take an onboard, a small lot case on board with me. And I put my, I only take little babies, my little ones. And that is why. So that is one hint. If you, especially if you go into the Rose Show soon, was it a hundred and something days? I think Stephanie said this morning. I got something stuck in my tongue. No, got a bit of fluff. Anyway, I was saying, I have traveling with your babies. You can carry them on board. I like. I carry little Alice on board. They don't worry. Um, she goes through the scanner, no worries, you know. They don't um, question. They might be able to see. Because every, because when, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, where was I? Launceston, that's right. Because when I filled up the car before I took, took back the rental car, I, I need a drink. So I got a drink and when I got through to go to the scanner, I was having a drink. She said, you got a lid for that? I said, yes. Put the lid on and that had to go through the scanner. So everything goes through the scanner. Your babies will be okay going through the scanner. No worries. Um, as I said, I've been through the scanner three times now in the last 12 months. And they've been, had no, no, no trouble. You know? But the ones in Australia, maybe America is more strict because of things that have happened in America, like 9-11 and all that. You don't know. But... If you tell them they're just dolls and whatever, they should be okay. But no way would I put, not because I lost my luggage, but because of the way, um, I think it depends how packed your luggage is when you check it in and how much clothing you're in so it's, it's tight so the baby doesn't move. But after losing my luggage, I do not advise to put your baby in your checked-in luggage. I know Stephanie put hers in a checked-in luggage. Lucky she was lucky she actually got her through at the other end. But as I said, in the last three, three, in the last 12 months, I've travelled on the plane from here to Melbourne and also from here to Adelaide and just back from Tassie. And... I then lost it when I was heading down when I got the lawn system. First time. But but if you want to take a baby on the plane with you, if you've got plenty room on the plane, um, I would. But I feel the bigger ones, they can be um oh, how would I I don't like to put it so that it's gonna sound bad. It's just that if you're going with someone and they haven't got a baby, um, especially if you haven't, if you get a meal or if you get a, a cuppa or a cold drink and you want to use a table, having your babies with you at that stage, they, they do get in the road. Um, that's the only, I noticed the first time when I flew to Melbourne, I actually carried Ruby on the plane and that's when I realised it. 
So after that, that's when I realised, no, I'll only take Alice on the plane because she's only a little 10 inch. And I take the two other ones, I put them on board, on the on board with little, they're all packed in there. So that's my, that's my experience of flying. Um, if you've got any more hints and you've got, you've got um, another, you've got a channel, maybe you can express some more hints in what to do. But yeah, they, people don't worry about it, um, you know. I know when I was coming back from Sydney, um, one of the air houses, what they called cabin crew, said, you've been on before. I recognise. I think she recognised because I had Alice with me. She recognised the baby. I said, yes, I went to Adelaide in October. She said, oh, yes, that's it. <laughs> so, oh, little Adam. Sorry, Brooke. You've got some more clothes, eh? Hey? Yes, um, in one, another video I said I'm going to do a video on things that I purchased in Tasmania, whether it be clothes, whatever I brought, except food. The food's gone. No, can't do the food. I am going to do a video on that because, but I can't do it all. I can't do, I can't do it yet until, um, because I had to post from home. My, I, I would have had enough weight in my suitcase to put them in. But just the room to put them in, if I had taken my bigger suitcase, would have had real room, but I posted them. But I've got one here. I'll do it. No, where is it? Um, When I was down at Tasmania, you will see a video of it when I get it. I went to, the video will come up the next week. I hope you'll have more through over the next week or so, I went to a place called the Unzoo. <coughs> it's actually a zoo about the Tasmanian devils. And, oh, it's all in there. You'll see it in the video. But what I want to show you now, because uh, it's something I brought from their shop there, and it's something that I'm going to donate to where I volunteer. So I thought I want to take it in Tuesday. So I'll show you this now as part of what I brought, okay? It's a card game. It's questions and answers about Australian wildlife. Can you read that? Um, there's, let me see. There's 56 cards. 10 question, is 10 question, is one rules card, 10 question and answer cards, 40 game cards, and five surprise cards. Um, there's different games you can play. There's play five quest it's five questions and answer games and there's forty questions in each game. So I think this would really be good for where I volunteer. So there's about two hundred is two hundred questions. Yeah. So that's it is. Question and answers about Australian wildlife. What I what I got afterwards, I think was one night after I've been there, I thought I wonder if I asked if they could actually donate a pack. If I brought a pack, if they could have would have donated a pack as well. So that way I would have had two. Would they cost me twelve ninety five? But I uh, I've only donated my time. I don't say only donated my time. Um, I have donated my time there since October two thousand. Not in 2013, when was it? It's you know, 2013. Wow. Yeah, 2013. That's how long I've been volunteering. I've never actually taken something in to donate, and I've always wanted to. Then when I seen this, I thought this would be good because it's an Australian one. The questions about for Australia which is really good. Very rarely do you get anything for Australia. I haven't opened it. Maybe I should have a sticky beak. Probably can't see anything. Oh. What are the questions? 
Oh yeah. Okay, so we've got birds, got birds, frogs and reptiles, insects and spiders, mammals, marine life. Ah, question and answers on marine life. Um, do crabs scuttle backwards? And forwards or from or sideways. That's easy. Crabs, easy. They go sideways. We've got an what have we got here? Um, let me see. Why do many sharks and rays spend a lot of time on the seabed? They have no swim bladders and find resting on the seabed convenient. Oh, when they want to rest, they go on the seabed. Okay. Uh, yeah. What does a dugong, dugong eat? Sea grasses. A dugong is what you call a sea cow. Don't ask me why, but I thought this would be really good because that's marine life. There's different um, sections, and you can also play like grab or what's the other game? Is that there's something else you can play? Fish and grab, or we call it snap. You call it go fish, we call it fish. Yeah, I think this is really good because what we've got here surprises. Insects and spiders. We've got the mammals like the koala bear. They're, they're, I think they're very closely related to the drop bear. Now they're dangerous. Drop bears are very dangerous. Really. Birds. Again, gang, cockatoo. And we've got frogs and reptiles. A red eye tree frog. There is something that will deter um, drop bears, Vegemite. Good old Aussie food, Vegemite. It's good for those drop bears. So if you ever come to Australia, want to make sure you supply yourself with some Vegemite because Vegemite, you can also eat it. It is beautiful. You know, I love me Vegemite. What's this? Oh, that's the rules of the game. That's the rules of the game. But what I know how they'll play, they'll just pick a card and what whatever section it is, variety, and now I just ask the questions. Hopefully they will enjoy it. It's based I think for ages four to six players, age eight and up. Well, that covers everybody where I go, of course they're all eight and up. I know when we're playing um Anything at where I volunteer, if there's like a guessing thing, we've got to shut our mouth. We cannot say a word, otherwise we've got to go sit in the naughty corner. Um, but otherwise, I love going there. But even though I'm not moving to Tasmania, I feel like I think it is time to leave Coffs. I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Um... I want to find the right place because hopefully the right as I want a bigger place I want an extra bedroom so I can actually get a nursery have a nursery set up um, and that's something I never had it won't be very elaborate because I've got a cot and a bassinet I could get a couple of chairs I got me back bouncing that bounces and I could sit in them I could definitely be a big room um, I've looked at um, we've looked locally. I've looked at um, Foster, which is down south of us. Um, I don't want to go too far south because of it gets a bit nippy down south. Um, like Cassie's too far south. 
Um, Sydney, yes, it gets cold there as well. Um, Sydney is about mm, six hours drive, I think, from Coffs Harbour. It's the capital. Speaking of card games, I remember years ago, like a couple years ago, no more like multiply that 30, 15, I was somewhere and some kids, some, they were playing Trivial Pursuit. And one of the questions was, what is the capital of Australia? Of course, the guy answered and said, Canberra. I said, I said aren't you going to tell him the, the right answer? Actually, Canberra is the right answer. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking Sydney. I had a brain, brain freeze, a brain spark or whatever. I forgot the capital of Australia. I thought, aren't you going to tell him the real, the correct answer? Duh, silly. It's okay. Computer's going to sleep. Wakey, be wakey. I don't like him when he goes to sleep. Come on, baby, wake up. It's coming. Um, what else is happening? Nothing much. I said I'm home. I just I couldn't have a shower last night because when I went away, I turned the hot water off. Save power. The only thing that was going. All the time I was gone was my NBN box. The NBN box is for our broadband. NBN stands for National Broadband Network. And my fridge is the only two things that are going. And that cost me a hundred, that was a dollar, I think a dollar thirty-five a day to run those two items. Well, that means NBN box zilch. The fridge, if you multiply, divide that by 14, what does that get you? 135 by 4, 13, under a dollar. Let me see, 14, well, uh, let me see, 14, oh, spread the brain going. 5, 4, 5, 2, 8, 5, 6, 4, two, oh, I don't know, too much. And it's getting warm here, yeah, I'm back to the warmth. I'll bring up little Brick, he looks so worried. Don't look so worried. He's adorable. No. He is adorable, aren't you? Yeah, little brick. If you haven't seen Brick's box opening video, it would have been the one just before I went away a couple of weeks back. And you'll find out why I call him Brick. Maybe a weird name. But then again, I thought it was a weird, weird name when I watched the middle. Who would call their kids Brick? That is where he got his name from because when I first seen him, he looked like Brick from the middle. Didn't you? I've got to start reading the books. I got it. I haven't unpacked yet. I've taken the important things out, like what did I take out? Dirty clothes. Um, took my babies out. Got them out. Them out first. And it's starting to get warm now. What else has happened? Nothing's happened. I think that's all. So just to let you know, I'm home and the videos will be uploaded soon. Um, when I get this going, I might up this load this tonight because I'm not quite sure what time it is. Maybe 10-ish, I think. I'll, um, I mean, I'll log in and see how I'm going here. Uh, too many. How, of course, I'm in the, I'm creating one now. Is it? Let me see. Yes, that one's finished saving. So what I will do, I would finish this and I'll go on and create this one and get it done and get it uploaded ASAP, even if I don't upload it till tomorrow. But then tomorrow's Sunday. It's wet. I'm not going anywhere. I don't need anything. Do we? No, we don't. Well, that's it. Hello, I'm home. And I hope whatever you're doing or wherever you are, you're having a good time. I hope the weather is treating you nicely. I have heard that Seattle has got a lot of snow. Anybody there from Seattle? It is another another um, channel I watch. It's not a reborn channel. It's called Claire and the Cosbys. And they upload the video. And from the first time in, I don't know how many years, Seattle, Seattle, Seattle have got snow. I mean, it's not just a little bit of flake. 
They said that Seattle's got no snow plow, they've got not equipped for it. There's no schools. Um, Dave, the father, hasn't been to work in a couple of days or something. I don't know what it was. But if you want a fun channel, a family channel, a good channel, um, go over to there. Dave and the Cross, Claire and the Crosby. Claire is a singer. She was, she sings, but she's also been in a movie, the latest mermaid movie with, um, what's her, oh, I know her, I know her, oh, what's her name, Shirley MacLaine. If you see that movie, this little girl is in that. She plays Shirley MacLaine's granddaughter towards the end of the beginning, at the beginning when they talk about mermaids. Claire has got a great voice. Um, she's five, so she's and she's just started school. So if you want a, a fun channel, they upload one video a week. Um, they probably don't know me, but I thought it's a fun channel. It's just um, a different channel to what I love watching watching my YouTube channels. But sometimes I like watching everybody else's other channels as well. What other channel do I? I like like a Reborns. I uh, like Claire and the Crosby's. Um, what's that bird, the girl out of um, Full House, Kimmy, Kimmy Gibbler. She's got a channel. I follow her. Um, who else is a Full House and Fuller House fan? Have you seen it? See, they're doing a season five, which will be the last season. Um, what, what else, who else do I follow? Oh, my God. I can't, I've got a few. I, got, I didn't realise I followed so many. It is amazing. And what is good, since I've got a smart TV, I can just go onto YouTube on my TV and click over to what channel, to my different channels and watch that. But there is one, there are some, I'll oh, watch them, some that really like um, the human something or other. They, people who crave, they eat the same food. There's one that I watched today and all he would eat was meat. Red meat. He was. That's all he ate all day was meat. Meat, chicken. He'd go out and he'd go somewhere. He'd eat chicken. It's all nothing else. Just meat. I mean, yes. It's there are a lot of. There's a heaps of channels out there. So if you have found a good channel besides a reborn channel, something that you enjoy watching, put it down in the comments and let me know. I love new channels to watch. You know, sometimes I'm sitting doing nothing. If I, if I can't find anything on Netflix I want to watch, on go YouTube. I just scan through my channels. Um, another channel I like to watch is Say Yes to the Dress. That's interesting. Um, another one is so as I said before, if you've got an interesting channel, there's not a reborn channel. Pop it down in the in the in your comments and let me know. And share. Um, they don't know you're going to share it, but that's not the problem. Some There are some channels I watch, but I don't. The one channel I what used to be a subscriber of, but then I unsubscribed. Then I went back to look for again. It's gone. Thumbs up, YouTube. Thumbs up. Um, okay, I think that's all. I want to go get this video, and we want to put you to bed, don't we? Hopefully we'll find another house somewhere. I know there's one here in Coffs, but I don't know if I want to stay in Coffs. It's on the other side of the plaza. Hmm. I have to think about that. It's two bedrooms. It's I think, the same price as what I'm paying here. So the inspection is Tuesday afternoon. It's a change of scenery. Um, I was still in the same position here where... There's no reborn mums. Um, I just have to think about that because I volunteer Tuesday and I have to. Mm, yes, I'll have to think about that, won't we? So, okay, everybody, I hope you're having a good day. So, hi, dear babies, give them all a hug for me. And I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, the weather is good to you. If it's snowing, Show us a video. I missed out seeing snow down there because I went a different way. Um, if you've got snow, show a video. 
If you've got a channel you watch that you really enjoy, it's completely different to Reborns, put it down in the comments, let me know, share it around, share the love. Um, there are some channels on YouTube that you don't want to go near. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to go near, not because they're, they're, not, they're not good channels. They are good channels for some people, but we don't want to go there. I know my sister years ago, she wanted to go to, a, we had a station in Australia, Channel 10, and she wanted to go to, the, to that channel. So instead of typing in 10.com.au, she typed in 10.com and got a porn, porn show, porn, porn website. <laughs> and she's crazier than me, so she's crazy. I mean, she's, that would have really shocked her. I mean, she does not know nothing. She knows no, more than nothing than I know nothing. Doesn't she? We don't talk about her. No, she <laughs> So I think I'll go. It's getting a bit long. I don't want to bore you. Um, I love these chats. It's getting things out. Um, and we talk about mundane things, you know. As I said, I better go. It's getting too long. I want to get it edited and done. I might upload it tonight. I might find something on... <gasps> The Vampire Diaries, they, on Netflix, we're losing the Vampire Diaries. And uh, I want to watch them again. But I found out on Facebook that their Netflix uh, can't have them after the 28th. I, was, I thought, will I start and watch them? I thought, I won't be able to finish it by the 28th. So, uh, I, love, I love vampire, vampire movies. So, have you got a good vampire series? Or good vampire movies or something, put that all in the description. Oh, vampire movies. Twilight. So far, Twilight is my favourite. I also like what's Interview of the Vampire. That's another good one. Vampire Diaries, um, Twilight, Interview of the Vampire. They are all good three vampire movies. What else? Um, what else was going on? I, I read The Hunger Games. Okay. I read the book of The Hunger Games, all of them. And I did push myself through them, and I thought it was a bit weird, you know, but I watched the movies, and you know what? I enjoyed the movies. I did really enjoy them. So sometimes the books can be way out, and that you couldn't enjoy the movie. It depends how they're uh, interpreted by the producer and the director and how the actors go on it. I think that's what does it. So before I want to get any further, I think we should stop now. As I said, you got another channel you watch down there besides besides um, Reborns and you enjoy it so much, let me know. Put it down in there and let me know. Um, a good vampire movie or another vampire series that you enjoy, let me know if, if it's on Netflix. I'm thinking, I'm in Australia. But there is a way. But how do I do it? I could do it through there. Yeah, don't worry. It's something a bit, you know. Okay, my video has just reached a part and it's breaking up. <laughs> it gets to a part and it splits and it starts another part. That's okay. I was actually had a joiner to join together. Then I realised when I do that, I lose my voice. My voice does not synchronise with my mouth and it's all out of whack. I didn't know until one of you lovely ladies commented on it that what happened and I realized what happened is when I join them together they lose synchronization so I don't do it anymore I just shove them all in the Windows Movie Maker and just do them that way so people I better go I got some work to do and I'll see you next remember everybody have a good day mate bye <laughs>